Welcome to my Chimera Squad. So this was uh, kind of given to me by a guy in my uh, Discord, Yoda, and uh, he, he wanted to see me go through it. And you know what? I'm 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 a okay with XCOM games. I love XCOM games. Uh, I don't know if I love this one yet. Uh, I've I've only played the tutorial, and so a, a really big factor in this. Uh, so they went with some kind of like more dialogue based version of XCOM. And, and people have been asking me already, is it good so far? And I would say not for a, a second playthrough or a third playthrough because the dialogue is really bad. <laughs> I mean, okay, everyone has their own opinion. Even if you like it, you'll kind of see it's kind of like you can't just skip it. And, and I don't know, we'll, we'll get into it. So uh, I, guess, I guess we'll start. So, oh, well, apparently it's called Expert, the difficulty. So I was going to play uh, Expert... Failing any mission results in total campaign loss. The campaign save is deleted and upon failure cannot be continued. So, um, the most of what I've seen about what this game is about, it's it's weird because it's like a cheap, cheaper version. I actually, I legit thought this was a mobile game uh, when I first saw it. Uh, and it's not a mobile game, so apparently it's just PC only, so... I, I legit, like, that's, that's why I looked online. I, I wanted to see if it was, like, released anywhere else. Apparently it wasn't. Just a $15 game. I don't know how long it is. Uh, we'll, we'll do the tutorial just because the tutorial's, I guess, interesting because I guess you'll you'll figure out what the new mechanics are of this and stuff. So I've only done a tutorial, so let's go see what the story is and stuff like that. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the war training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many, long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. Wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3 1 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Yeah, no, this is not XCOM. Well, okay, it sort of is XCOM, but it's a weirder XCOM. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed the cab. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. So, the best I can tell is that this is like a, a post XCOM 2, like way post. As in, like, this is the setting I, I'm guessing that we're in. I, it, it wasn't very clear to me when I first saw it. But basically, like, yeah, so I guess, like, they're all defeated, the elders, and then, so now, like, they're doing, like, weird futuristic breach squads with maximum diversity. That That's what it looks like to me. Um, so a big portion of this is actually to, uh, every time you start, uh, kind of like, th there's, a, there's, there's two sequences now to levels think of it like an XCOM light which is why I kind of thought it was mobile game but it's actually not apparently it, it, they're probably gonna port it to, to mobile I'm guessing I don't I don't know it seems like a good t contender for that anyways so they have a breach section and then they have the combat section so the breach section is just just imagine you know how like in in the other XCOM games you'd be running around the map looking for pods and stuff like that this essentially just removes that portion of you looking for a pod because the pods in the next room, like they're they're in the room. You don't know where they are. I I guess I, I haven't figured that out. And it's like encounter one of three, so it's like like just a randomly kind of created mission with with a room that you have to clear. So this is basically saying there's a breach portion, and during the breach portion, um, there's modifiers and stuff. So it says successful shots on enemies will crit. Um, and there's multiple breach points and they have their have different bonuses and sometimes they have negatives But you have to put someone to breach into that point kind of a thing So you want to put like defensive people maybe at the points where like you wouldn't do as much like 
damage or something and you take more damage. I don't know. XCOM Power Rangers Police Squad. That's pretty accurate. Um, so it kind of says here, so we have our three people. Uh, our three diverse people. So we'll put like Cherub here. He has a shield or something. I don't really know what his, what his deal is. And I don't know what this negative one means. Um, oh, it's just, it's not even a negative actually. It just looks like a negative because UI sucks. So he's the one opening the door, and these two people are just randomly shooting. So I figured the guy with the shield should go first, but I don't know really what the shield does. I haven't really played around with it too much. Uh, I mean, we can kind of... Well, I can't really click his click on him or anything, it looks like. So we'll just start the breach. So it goes into like a slow motion, and I have like all the time in the world to kind of look at the room and see what I want to... kind of what action I want to do, how much damage I'm doing, things like that. Um, a little bit funky, so I guess he'll just shoot the guy that's like right next to him. So, and everybody's critting right now because that's what the, the thing said when I started. And everyone has 100% because this is a tutorial, so it's just like, it's just teaching us how the breach mechanic works here. So that person has a shotgun. Hello, I am Mayor Nightingale. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, 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 history. Focus. All right, so this is a bit different from actually the regular game. Usually what would happen in original XCOM, or well, like the other XCOM games, is you would get to move all your soldiers in any order you want, and the enemy gets to move and do whatever they want. And so you go back and forth. This one's more of like a, I take my turn, they take their turn, I take my turn, they take their turn, and it's like predetermined. It's more like a Divinity Original Sin kind of thing. Um, but the mechanics are essentially the same. It's just like uh, you get to move and shoot or you get to do some other action. There's some other stuff. So um, so the man with the shield, I don't have any abilities with him. I can't overwatch with him if I want to. So we can just kind of, um, I don't know, just move him over here. Also, they walk around. There's no zip mode as far as I can see. All right, we didn't even kill that guy. So, now I'm in cover here, but they're going to get the option to do something. So, I, like, what does I mean? I don't know what the hell the shield does, even. So, go over here. So, we're just, like, walking around, more or less. Okay, so that, that guy doesn't even get to have a turn, so we're just going to go up to him. Because the Where? turn order is oh, weird, because he I shot see. first. So there's a lot of strategy in, like, incapacitating the first guy kind of a thing, so... A lot of stuff. You see this? Huh. Interesting. Contact! Clear. What took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. An invasion. So someone, uh, uh, someone said, keep killing the enemy that goes next. That's a good strategy, actually, I would say, for this. Uh, that, that seems to be kind of what the, the whole point is. So that now we're getting to, like, a multiple uh, breaching. So, so multiple breaches. So I just want to mention that the, I don't know how much dialogue there is throughout the entire game, but this is kind of exactly what happens in the skip mechanism doesn't seem to work right because I've tried skipping it and then it just got, it just goes to the next piece of dialogue. It's really weird. I kind of wish you could just skip all the dialogue. Let's say you just want to, you know, but this might just be the tutorial thing. I don't even know. So, so this, this kind of, yeah, so this is all about the breach, breach stuff. So in this particular case, we probably want the more defensive people to come on the bottom floor here. Um, is she the one with the shotgun? I don't even know. I can't even tell who has the shotgun. I was, yeah, she's the one with the shotgun. So put the shotgun person on the on the bottom door. So this one's closely watched. Apparently the enemies will deal plus one damage to us when we go through the door. Um, I don't know what these arrows do. What? Oh, maybe this is the order in which it's breached. I 
Oh wait, maybe it's the order in turns that are taken. I don't. I, I think that's actually what that does. So let's let's just try that out. So number two, these two are gonna go in, and number one, these two are gonna come. So these should go, these people should go first, and then the, the the other people at the bottom should go after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually tells you a turn order here. That's actually exactly what it does. So we can we can actually swap that up. Open sesame. Yeah, I didn't know that. I I didn't figure that out the first time I did this. So here we go. Now we get to some really shitty shots, honestly. Uh, let's kill that guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck XCOM. All right, fuck it. Let's kill this guy then. Oh, 76. Nice. Oh, dude, we got him. Sealed the deal. DLC. All right, so we got a couple guys here. They're all kind of just standing around here. Yeah, I think we're fucked. There's so many guys. I like I like his uh, not aiming at the proper person shot. So yeah, they get to shoot at us right after that. So now we're getting into their abilities. Um, so they can use abilities every ter every turn. Eventually to gain more abilities, yeah. I, I didn't see any cooldowns, but I may, I may not have looked a whole lot into it. And then they have like a subdue ability, uh, and that's like not lethal, low damage, but it's for like objectives, I guess. Um, Cherub uses the charge of bash ability instead of subdue, so it's to whoever this guy is. He has uh, charge bash, which is... Uh... Fuck. The, the tooltip takes forever. So charge is consumed deal damage in a cone behind the enemy. So, I don't know, abilities are kind of cool. Um, also, how do I go to the, my person that I'm actually doing? Okay, so she gets like Safeguard, which is the Gremlin ability, uh, if you really want it. Uh, but I figure I might as well just use my flank shot on one of these guys. Also, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to the turn order, so I may have just, yeah, I probably should have shot that guy. But you know, that's life. But he's retarded and decided to shoot upward, it's fine. Alright, so this guy has uh, Stupor, which is like a psionic stun for one to two turns and adds them to the neural network. Cannot target enemies in the neural network. No idea what that is. We can figure that out now, though. Battle Madness. He psionically attacks an enemy's mind to make them go berserk and attack a nearby target. Adds them to the near neural network. Cannot target enemies in the neural network. No idea what that is, but, you know, we can just screw around with this. We could just try Battle Madness on this guy. Right, go ahead, do it. Maybe I'll shoot that guy. Erasing target. <laughs> Everyone's all about them snake girls. All right. Well, let's try stupor. Apparently, that 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 did that was not a turn-ending action, which is interesting. And we just stunned the hell out of that guy. Yo, they hate my fucking squad at the top there. Alright, let me bash this guy. We can. But this will not kill him. What's his other ability? Kinetic Shield. Place the energy shield on self to or ally to prevent all damage of the next attack. Uh, uses a charge. I don't know where his charges are, though. Somewhere. Um, find it weird how the half... A human half Xeno sound normal, but they didn't have a cool voice filter. I, uh, I mean, I would ex I would assume that they would speak English, but you know, let me. Ch where's my charges on this ability? I have no idea. He apparently has charges, but yeah, we're just gonna shoot this guy because, uh, oh my flipping XCOM! All right, we're off to a good start here. It looks like he misses the flank shot, of course. All right, so the, she has a scatter shot, and she's also got subdue. Subdue though will not do a substantial amount of damage here. Moving. I don't know why they, they don't even run. They just they just kind of leisurely walk over to the, the people that they want to kill. I mean, I don't know whose fault it is. Like like honestly, they just let me do it. So. Moving. Cover me. There's no zip mode. You got pineapple air, hair? No kidding. Also, we reload up the end of uh, every little segment here. Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make an entrance. <laughs> a 
like I said, the, the dialogue is like the cringiest part of this. Some breach points can only be accessed with special abilities or equipment, and or, um, so so that that adds a little bit to your kind of your squad setup. Uh, it depends upon what they have and stuff, but it, you can only put the guy who has the charges uh, on that one. So we're just gonna go kind of toss them all Wait, in here. Hold. Hostage confirmed in the next room. We need more than that. Free one PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough. This exhibit. It is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now, it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go, now! Making a path. So Henry's asking about uh, it removed Berserk on the other guy in terms of like, well, no, no, the Berserk was one turn. The way I think the way the neural network thing works is because the neural actions are not uh, turn ending. I think the way I think the way it works is um, when someone's added to the neural network, it means you can't do another psi action against them. I'm just this is this is my theory. So we have a cover rush ability, and then we have a breach fire. So. Um, cover rush, I guess, is just like it gives, it makes them more defensive, and they just run to something and they don't shoot anything. So that's that's one way of doing things. But I'm just gonna basically just shoot the fuck out of everybody. Uh, by the way, the first time I did this, I um, I uh, fucked this up, and uh, that my uh, this hostage died. So we'll see if I can not repeat that. Protect you. Liquidating. Europe is down. Terminal, stabilize him. On it. Veg, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. By the way, I'm not bad. That's just a part of the tutorial. Well, I am bad, but yeah. Uh, so the bleeding out works a little bit differently in this. Um, so they lose all their HP. Uh, when agents that lose all their HP begin bleeding over several turns, kind of like in the original in the original game. The mission will fail unless the agent bleeding out is saved with stabilized ability, or the encounter is completed before the timer expires. So we actually have like three tur two turns for this. So technically, I don't I don't think I really care. I'm just gonna just shoot everything. But I do have the ability to stabilize, and this is also not a turn ending action. Uh, so I, I'm allowed to just keep doing stuff and then uh, do whatever I want. So. so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna go right behind this guy, which is a really good idea. Welcome to Earth. Actually, wait. Where are, these are these are people from Earth. So who's the guys gonna go next? All right, I'm gonna kill this guy. Moving quickly. So as long as long as my team doesn't fuck up. Also, how is he behind cover? What the hell? This is not a flank shot? Oh, he's hunkered, that's why. You know what? Maybe I'll just stun him. Fuck this guy. My mind over yours. Probably should have done that to begin with. Target acquired. Okay, that didn't that actually did absolute dick all. Alright, maybe maybe we should just like, you know what? Um Gremlin stabilize, you know that's a good idea. Let's just do that. I mean, they did say terminal go do it. Alright, do we want to subdue now? Just want to shoot things. Is the Sky Ranger always that small? Yes. This is uh, from a time. Yeah, okay, I think this person's dead, by the way. Oh shit, she's in Overwatch now. Dude, why, why does this guy have so much HP? What's my chance to crit on this guy? Where's my crit chance? Whatever, we'll try it. Oh my god, he, he's alive. Okay, we kind of, we kind of, we kind of need to deal with this guy. So maybe we should subdue him. Take him down. Is under Yo, he got wrecked. Also, I think we're about to get wrecked. Okay, no, we're fine. Terminal has this. Should we just like gangbang this guy? Yeah, let's go get him. 
eat shit. Shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna all like walk towards him. And yeah, Overwatch has a range now. That's the that's the other thing that's kinda changed. Are you alright? It looks worse than it is. Those medicates are really something. Compliment accepted. What about Cherub? Yeah, uh, I think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm I'm grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, what is this dialogue is right. Um, so, from two captured enemies, there's a 40% chance to gain 20 intel, so I guess that's the point of, uh, of uh, capturing enemies instead of just killing them outright. Um, and there's like a bunch of stuff here. Apparently between missions, my people heal, heal like half as much or something. Package delivered to 31PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... <laughs> it's bad luck. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum and its aftermath. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 3-1-PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. We fucked up the mission, but good job anyways. You did what you were supposed to, except when you didn't do what you were supposed to. Alright. <laughs> this is, well, this is what I mean about, like, can you imagine having to sit through this dialogue every time you play this, but... Like, I, I, I don't know what it is if I turn the tutorial off, I, you know, Welcome but... to City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. 3-1-PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost good officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. Poor fucking mayor. Alright, so the map is where we see any targets that we can send our squad to respond to. Come here, squad can respond to one target per day, after which the day automatically advances. Um, 
So mission is tactical targets, situations are strategic targets. The squad takes care of these targets without entering combat, so um, that's kind of what kind of goes on. So this is a situation, so this is not one we enter combat for, so it's the Memorial Museum Aftermath. So we need to pour through the, the stuff, so we're going to basically send the APC, apparently, and we're just going to advance the day, so. Because, well, we had no other options. Your work with 3-1-PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Alright, so choose next investigation. So it's a faction we want to investigate, uh, and it cannot be ch changed until it's resolved. So do we want to do the Progeny, Grey Phoenix, or... I can't read that. Sacred Coil or Soil or something? This is the chrysalid one. <laughs> I see a chrysalid in the picture, so maybe that's the one we want to go for. Uh, so like alien scavengers. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the chrysalids, because I love chrysalids. Sacred coil is what happens when former Advent officers find religion, or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids, as long as that path involves armed sedition. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 31 PD's jurisdiction? True. The Reclamation Agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, dangerous organization is off the streets exactly the city wants justice for mayor nightingale this is how we help them achieve it there you go so every investigation has three stages uh groundwork from the first mission learn about the faction and the methods operations and missions that must be revealed then completed to knock out the faction's main plans and take down stop their final attack and end the threat to city, uh, city 31. it's like city 17 almost uh, so we're currently doing this one, so we can't we can't go to another one or whatever. I guess I don't, I don't know. There's dark events apparently as well. We don't know who their leadership is. So that's pretty much it. All right. This is it the assembly area? Check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything, or we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll take time to stress test our patterns, but once we have them, we're good to go. Alright, so you can put someone on the assembly machine to decrease the time on the project. Uh, you can only advance one assembly project at a time, which takes multiple days to complete. and usually costs resources. So, uh, in this case, we only have one. Illyrium is one of the resources. Uh, so this one has 10 Illyrium, and it takes two turns to complete. We have 65 Illyrium, so... This is Android Personnel, which is, I guess, this game's equivalent of, uh, of Shiv's. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, so we'll get that going. So, <laughs> researching Shiv's, then. So we can now recruit, uh, select an agent to add to our, uh, squad. So, the armor is where you manage your, uh, agents. Loadout, you can manage your weapons armor. Uh, unlock abilities. So this is just, like, the standard, like, loadout kind of stuff. Oh, armor tents. Okay, everyone has to be pink. And you have their promotions and stuff. So this is pretty much standard stuff. City council, we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. All right, I'm seeing snakes. Uh people want <laughs> people want snakes. Listen, th this snake has well actually 20 dodge, 40 will to live. And love the mobility. All right, fine. Snakes. Let's do the snakes. Torque. Whisper. Are we good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? Can't say that I did. Then no, we aren't good. Well, at least things are back to normal. Jesus Christ, it talks. What the fuck? <laughs> that. <laughs> I, I can't get over that. Absolutely no hissing whatsoever. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so this is the experience on missions, blah, blah, blah. I think you guys know how that works. 
I I don't see. So th this doesn't look like it's split by by classes at all. Um, I, I haven't seen like a sniper class at all, as far as I can see. I'm not sure if that 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 works in any other way. All right, let's do pink. Uh, that's like purple, actually. Whatever. You need to be pink too. Come on, we have we have to all be fabulous. For, unfortunately, there isn't like a, a change everybody button. Well, actually, it's actually easy if I just do this. All right, now we're all fabulous. Is there actually no custom other customization for this? We get agent biography, which who cares, I guess. Um, there's their abilities. And then you get to kind of choose a weapon, but we don't actually have any other weapons, really, so, um, yeah. I, I don't really know. There's, 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 there doesn't look like there's any classes this, uh, with this at all. It's just, it's just their, it's just their unique abilities. It's, that's all it really comes down to. How would you breach with a sniper, though? Well, you'd put them on, like, I guess the high ground. That's what I would do, at least. Because you have, you have options where you have, like, two things. But I guess this is more like a, like a SWAT kind of a thing, I'm guessing. Uh, there was a dead eye. Mike chose Snake Lady. Oh, well, that probably is the the kind of the sniper class. So, but well, okay, you guys wanted snakes, so you know we're doing we're doing snakes. All right, so there is one thing that, about this. So, the snake that we just brought on, we can actually we can bring her onto the team, and then the last person can go into. We'll just put Cherub over here. Cherub, fuck off. Actually, maybe we should put the guy with the shield here. It just occurred to me because I think he's wounded. Um. Yeah, Verge should come over here. Yes. And Verge can go here. I, I'm, I'm not sure how that works, but we'll, we'll see. Critical mission must be completed today. Credits is one of the supplies. Okay, so. Uh, that's pretty much it. Difficulty easy. Credits. And. Yeah, Cherub's the shield guy. That's, uh, is he the shield guy? Dude, I. I, I don't want to. I don't want to sound racialist, but they all look the same to me. All the aliens, okay? I, my bigger tree is not allowed in. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, Cherub is the the guy. What the hell? <laughs> You're right. All right. <laughs> He's a hybrid. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. Oh, maybe I do. He was a human first. All right, fine. Now we did it. All right, we're gonna send the APC out uh, to basically, I don't know, investigate Sacred Coil. We are not the police. If you see a theft, call it into 31 PD and move on. But there is one notable exception. Hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene. Don't let them escape. So we don't really get any options here for uh, anything like for breach items, but we can Our do some supply things here. Has all the basics: weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. So we get auto key card grants breach access through a security door. Uh, breaching charge destroy walls and create a new po uh, entry point. Cease fire grenade disables all firearms in a large radius. Uh, we got a flashbang, which is pretty much the same as the flashbangs as we normally have, which they can't aim anything. It does not make that superior to the flashbang. Well, I guess flashbangs. Friendly units are unaffected, I guess. The DRM grenade. That's a good name for it. Uh, Medkit, I'm pretty sure I would want to have. Um, although, technically, my I have the dr drone that does that. Uh, we have the smoke grenade. Then we have tracer rounds. These grant plus five aim to an agent when equipped. And trank rounds. Which is, if the target would be killed, they would be rendered unconscious, in, uh, unconscious instead. Which seems kind of, like, good. Um... But, you know, it is what it is. So, I don't know. I guess I'll, like, maybe I'll just bring a med kit. Well, how much money do I have? I have 145. We'll do, like, a med kit and, I don't know. Keycard sounds kind of nice, but... I don't know. I don't want trank rounds. Fuck that. I'll just get, like, a flashbang. Let, yeah, let's try the ceasefire grenade. Fuck it. And we'll get, we'll get a keycard just because fun. I have money for it. You've never heard of this game? I'm not really surprised, because actually I had never heard of it either. Okay, well, we give her that. You can have the med kit. And Snick can have a uh, ceasefire grenade. Actually, is that a shotgun she has? No, she's got a submachine gun. Uh, actually, I don't even know. It's like an it to me, honestly. I can't tell.
I miss the Sky Ranger already. Earlier this week, a security camera spotted sacred coil flunkies sniffing around this warehouse. Today, the silent alarm went off. The place is full of Advent era contraband on the way to a tech vault. Why catalog these things? You should melt it all down. So, successful shots on enemies will, break, will stun. Quick snare. First unit will be rooted for the first round. Guess you can go there. Main door. Last unit through its entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. We'll do like something like this. So, yeah, you got some really... So, by the way, I haven't gotten any... I haven't gotten any further than this. Uh, so, this is like, now it's completely blind, so... But, uh... We'll st everything stuns. Alright, let's go. Reaching. We shall move in. Go, Snake, go! Androids? Fucking robots. Alright, kill that thing. Oh, we didn't even kill it. Hey, just kill the fucking one on the boxes. Uh, sure. Wow. Um. Um. Okay. I'm ready for him. All right. Uh, the UI may have taken a nap for just a second. What? Once permission, an agent can be moved on the timeline so they take the next turn. This ability is shared by the entire squad. Uh, preparation defensive defensive bonus that moves the agent's next turn earlier in the timeline. Use this when an agent is caught in a dangerous situation or to coordinate tactics. Well, I can't really do that. Uh, because this person can't even move, not like it's that particularly dangerous anyways. Uh, can't I attack the barrel? There's like a barrel right there. What else do I have? Team up. Godmother coordinates with the target. Unimpaired ally, moving their next turn up on the time. Oh, that's the one. Okay, so that's the... Abs uh, or there's preparation. Preparation age. Uh, yeah, fuck all that. So she can't move right now. Um, who's getting the next turn? You are. Maybe I should just overwatch her, honestly. So this person doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, fuck these guys. That's a really... Reaction f reaction shot the first enemy to move within a cone of fire. We'll just try that out. Okay, well that worked out. Androids are dumb dumbs. Alright, what else? We Dude, can we subdue an android? Alright, I gotta try this, guys. Knock that bot out. <laughs> Fucking wreck, dude. <laughs> dude, Snack didn't get to do anything. Sacred Coil stole specialized mech parts. The kind you can't easily replicate. Advent used those mechs to sow terror. Sacred Coil may have similar plans. Subdued is giving the new BM play. I would say so. All units whose entrance get plus fifty dodge for one round. Guess you. Like it, it. It's not really telling what like like who's the best for each situation. I mean, it kind of is. I guess if you're going through the window, um, I, I guess we'd actually want her to be through through here. Actually, last unit through this uh, encounter gets plus one armor. Marks your units until the end of the encounter. Thanks a lot. Helping hand. Last unit through this door will receive an extra action point. Oh, that's pretty good. You know what? I actually, I'm actually a fan of that. Let's put Snack here. Snack can, Snack can be here. Okay, so we'll do something like this, or maybe Snack should go here because Snack has a has a uh, has a has a SMG. I, I wouldn't want really you to be here. But no, fucking, dude, this sucks ass. Oh, he's, can I, like, just swap these people? Okay, whatever, we'll do this. <laughs> Fuck it. Move in, now. Oh, 
Fuck it, this deck has an earpiece. Just wanna mention that. Yo, fucking go wreck that guy. Oh shit, we're, dude, we're, we're fucking screwed. Oh, dude, dude, Snack got it. Alright. Why do they only have bots here? I thought- I, I was led to believe there would be chrysalids here. What's that icon mean? You planning on running? Oh, I guess it's out of range. Oh shit, tongue pull. Grab a distant target and pull them into melee range. I can pull fucking my own teammates with snacks. These fire grenades. Well, we don't need to use that yet. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, that icon particularly means. The game has not really explained that far to me, but I guess we'll see next turn. We'll just, we'll just run up here, fuck it. Oh, it's I, I think they're gonna run to the, the, the thing over there. That makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, fuck off, Enter. Big ass. Yeah, okay, so it, it is a it is a running action. So it's, it's joining another pod, I think, over there. That's what it's doing. That makes sense now. Sacred Coil is on the run. Don't lose them in the warehouse. They're smart. Lead by example. First unit to his entr uh, entrance is plus three damage during your breach. It's all be god by the keypad door. Oh, we don't actually... Do we actually need a keypad, though? Uh, let's see. Ready for anything? Dodge. Put Snack in there. I don't know. We'll just do... Move it. Fuck. Move it. God damn it. Put her there. I mean, I feel like having scanners on them is bad, but that's marking them. I don't even know what marking does, to be fair. Use the tongue mic. Reach, reach, reach. I, I will soon. Reaching now. <laughs> fucking cherub, or whatever the fuck his name is. Okay, dude, these, all these shots suck, but whatever. Fuck. Dude, there's a big guy in the back there. We're gonna have to snack him. Yeah, whatever, go fuck this guy up. Oh shit. No step on snack. Oh fuck, dude, dodge. Oh, actually, dodge worked. Dude, the snack is, is immortal right now. What are you doing? Did they just fucking gas themselves? Eyes on the target. They're androids. Oh, dude, he's trying to run? They're all trying to run. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move up here. And we're gonna use the uh, scatter shot. Yeah, why is the AI judging me? Oh, they're going back to Sky Ranger. Alright. Fuck. How do we stop him from leaving? I don't think we can, honestly. Is he going next turn? No. It's this fucker is going next turn. I think we should just all shoot at this this fucker. But he's he's in the gas, so what the hell can we do? Headed where I'm needed. Swift and steady. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna jump him with the uh, self-destruct! Uh, all right. Yo, let's let's pl let's police brutality this guy maybe. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna police brutality that guy. I'm I'm not gonna I don't think. Well, oh shit! There's only one place we can do it from. There, fuck it. Get in there. Get in there, Verge, you dumbass. Oh, dude, it, it, I did half the damage because of the whatever the shroud is. Coming. Yeah, I needed to die, honestly. That's okay. Let's tongue pull. Okay, that's not good. So using using tongue is not effective in this situation, so... Well, I'm gonna run away from the guy who's gonna self-destruct, honestly. Shame you didn't resist. Alright, we got him. 
We may have a slight problem here, because I can't actually see this guy. Preparation. Maybe we'll just go over here and overwatch. You know, just in case he blows himself up, we'll, uh, we'll be ready. Yeah, it, it, it looks like, uh... <laughs> It looks like we won't really be able to do anything, but we'll just uh, we'll just uh, overwatch him. Hopefully he's not like nuclear. Okay, we got him. Oh, dude, he blows up if you kill him. Okay, that's an uh, important fact. And we did capture one enemy, so capturing droids. Actually, wait, no, we captured. We I thought we got two of them. Whatever. We well, we got it. So it's a, that's what matters. Uh, the answer to the self-destruct question is the radius is fairly small. Y you cannot interrogate the android. I beg to differ. We can disassemble them. What? Dude, there's a Bradford here? If Sacred Coil went after mechs, they need soldiers, but for what army? They were underground until Mayor Nightingale's election drove them to the surface. Their hatred for her gave them motive. Find out if Sacred Coil had the means to carry out an assassination. Alright, so, investigation. We did things. Alright, continue. So, oh, we got Spec Ops, so this is new. An emergency session of the City Council voted 5-4 to four against a citywide curfew. Councillor Parada spoke for the majority. There is no need for such extreme measures. Mayor Nightingale's death is a tragedy, but to shut down the city due to fear would reject the very principles by which she lived. 3-1 PD remains on high alert throughout City 31. Commissioner Maloof released the following statement. Every 3-1 PD officer grieves for Mayor Nightingale. Rest assured, we will bring those responsible to justice. More on this story as it develops. There, there's Julio way too much dialogue. For Channel 37. Way too much dialogue. I'm authorizing Chimera Squad for special operations. Some ops provide useful resources for the squad. Keep an eye out for these opportunities. Alright, so solo agent duties that help Chimera Squad. Uh, they can improve unrest, gain resources, or temporary advantages on missions. Um, so I haven't seen this mechanic yet. So, so a different reward, some each turn, only when the op is complete. Um, okay, well, what do we get? We get glad hand, hand, handing? What the fuck? Convince well-to-do individuals and business groups to provide stopgap funding in times of crisis. We get money. Legwork. Gain intel. Or... Illyrium Sting, we get some intel, we get some Illyrium. So I get to put someone here. And I don't know, does it really matter? Fuck off, Cherub, you get, you get to go over here. Fucker. Yes. Cherub gets to come over here now. Oh, here's mission types. Investigation appear purple, groundwork. Side appear yellow, but are optional to provide valuable rewards in emergency. Appear in red. They're districts with unrest problems. Um, so sometimes hidden missions add unrest to their district every time, but they're gradually revealed over time. You can accelerate this with lead missions. Lead missions appear unpredictably. So, okay. Well, so lead missions are, what color is that? I don't even know. Well, it's while, oh, while a hidden mission is active, leads are optional, provide a large boost. And the side missions. Okay. Reclamation links Sacred Coil to a variety of City 31's missing persons. All human. Stop these human abductions and recover them from Sacred Coil. Time is of the essence. Is that much? There's, it's not that there's too much dialogue, it's that's cheesy and bad dialogue. I would argue, though, it's just. Even if it was good dialogue, I wouldn't really want it. Because, like, it's. it's I'm playing a game, not watching a movie. But yeah, whatever. I don't know. Android personnel grants one Android tactical unit. They're purchasable and unlocks all entry level assembly projects. Alright. Uh, we can do modular androids. Do, do we want the shivs is the question. Um, 
What's this one? Modular weapons? Sure. I like weapons. How long is that going to take? Two turns? So we got to put someone on it. Uh, new android. Oh shit, he's here. These versatile soldiers are valuable backups to your main squad. Any mission where one of your agents is, evacu is evacuated, android can take their place for the remaining encounters. Alright, that's kind of cool. Actually, that's that's actually not bad. That's a different kind of uh, way of doing it. Um, they accompany the APC, but do not automatically engage. Instead, they can take the place of an agent that is wounded and evacuated. We send androids to breach with the squad in place of an evacuated agent. Once committed, they stay for the rest of the mission. Okay, so that's, that's sort of useful. Vision? It's not augmented, and processor is not augmented. In fact, nothing is augmented about this guy. We get a we get additional squad mate. Well, we already have one guy. Where is it? Armory. I apparently don't get. I don't even know where that was last time, to be honest. Because I, I I would like to put someone on this, but I can't. Cadet Shrek. Well, I guess um I guess that has to just appear when I have someone I can recruit. So here's the question. Do we want to have someone on Spec Ops or do we want to put someone on Assembly? I'm going to guess though, I'm going to just keep this guy on Spec Ops. Um, actually, I don't know, the Assembly is really good though. You will receive no refund. Well, that's okay, because I wasn't planning on doing that anyways. I mean, who else can I put on this? The Android can't be on this. We'd, we'd have to not bring someone along, and I don't I don't think that's a really good idea, to be honest. So, I think we're going to put Cherub on this instead. Fuck the Spec Ops. And because the, I would rather the assembly take half as much time. Because the, here's the thing, I could bring someone here, but it's like... Do I really want to be doing mission with three people? You, I mean, technically there's a bot that does it. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's the real question. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want. To, I, I I don't think I want to remove anybody. That's the thing. But those spec ops things aren't that useful. I mean, it's useful, but you invest in some trank rounds since you can sh since you shoot the shit out of everyone. Well, fuck, dude. Like, I didn't ask for this. Fuck. Oh, that that is the armory. Fine. I'll buy some trank rounds. Convinced me. Alright, who, who gets them is the question. Uh, I think you'll get it. There you go. It's it's a tranquilizer shotgun. You don't have the bot? Well, no, no, no. You have to understand the bot comes with me automatically, allegedly. Because I can't, I can't put the bot in here. And they're just used if someone gets lost. So, yeah, it's a beanbag shotgun. Alright, so, is this a side mission? I think it is a side missions. XCOM's most wanted. What's this thing? The... Which yard? Oh, this is unrest. No, it's not. Oh, oh, that's how much unrest is gonna happen if I don't do it. I believe. Yeah, I, I can do tech support. Chimera Squad. I'm Commissioner Maloof of 3-1 PD. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalis ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the city. 3-1 PD was stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill. And that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation better than my officers, I'll send the details your way. If the city council has a problem with that, I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward to working with you. Oh, dude, one stock? Weapon bod? Fuck yeah, let's do it. To say a hostile force has access to a dangerous device, but destroying it would cause harm to you or others. Well, there's Shrek, guys. In that case, finesse is the better option. Approach the device and disable it just as you were trained. Cool. Let's do it, then. 